So we are discussing today about the femoral tunnel length and loop calculations and when we are doing an ACL surgery how we calculate the length of the loops that we are taking and how are we drilling the femoral tunnel. So we know that we need to drill the femoral tunnel at the anatomical location and it has to be at the origin or at the insertion of the ACL. And what I recommend is using a marked beat pin which is marked with a pointer and this is called as a retro watch system. And this retro watch beat pin will allow you to measure the femoral tunnel at the first step. So what we do is, there is a, there is a, this is the femoral notch and there is a mark in this beat pin which is marked R. So you have to drill it up to the R and then measure the length of the femoral tunnel from outside and this is called as a retro gauge. Now this device will increase your accuracy of measurement of the femoral tunnel. Now if this length is less than 30 degree, 30 mm, I recommend that you don't accept it. Because we need at least 50 mm of graft in the tunnel and the least available size of the button is 15. Less than that is available but then it is not easy to flip. So I will recommend if it is less than 30 millimeters, you can consider revising your primary beat pin. So if your tunnel length is between 30 to 35, okay. you use a 15 mm button. Now we, I will talk about adjustable loop later, but if your loop length is 30 to 35, you use a 15 mm button. If your loop length is 35 to 40, you can use either 15 or you can use 20. Okay? And if your length is more than 40, recommended to use either 20 or 25. Now, we need to have a flipping distance. So, your length of the bigger drill should be 7 mm less. So, if supposedly your femoral length is 33 and you want to use a 15 mm button okay so 7 mm is a flipping distance which is must so you deduct th uh, 8 from this so 25 so minimum 25 mm you should drill okay so 7 mm is a flipping distance for the button it will be 18 you get it? You drill it more, it will go out, it will flip and you will pull down. Okay? So, if you use 15 mm button in a 33 mm tunnel, your graph inside the tunnel will be 18. But you need to drill it up to 25. Okay? So, 7 mm is the flipping distance you need for any adjustable loop to function. Okay? Now, if you are using an adjustable loop, you just have to calculate the amount of graft that you want to be inside the tunnel. So suppose that you decide that you want your graft to be 20 mm into the tunnel. So your graft length is around 7 mm, 7 cm and you want 2 cm inside. So here what you do is you drill 20. 20 mm. That's it. Okay. So, and, but you need to calculate the tunnel length again with the retro watch because this will help you to flip the button. So, here if you are using an adjustable loop, only one button size will be there and always you will dream tunnel up to 20 or 25. You can dream up to 25, that is also fine. Okay, and finally this, whatever you drill will be filled up with the graph. So, as compared to a fixed loop versus an adjustable loop, Adjustable loop will lead to a more complete filling of the tunnel. So, supposedly in this scenario, if you use, if you drill it up to 25, here the graft fill is 18, here the graft will be 25 because you have drilled the tunnel up to 25. So, this is about adjustable loop. So, adjustable loop, no calculations, you just have to drill, drill up the amount which you want the graft inside the tunnel. But still it is better to measure it with retroverse because you have to mark it. The majority problem in adjustable loop comes that you don't have an uh, idea about where to flip. 
and that's why you pull it harder and the, the, the button will go into the soft tissue. So that is why adjustable loop also, it is better to use a retro watch, better to measure the tunnel, uh, total length of the femoral tunnel. So that will give you an exact indication. So what we recommend is whenever you, this is the button, this is the flipping device. So you mark it. So this is the adjustable loop button, you mark it at 4 centimeters. So if the tunnel is 40 centimeters, you mark it here. So that you know that here the mark is there and then you flip it. Otherwise you will flip, uh, pull it more and there will be a, the button will be off the bone and into the soft tissue. Now Eco Button Flex as we discussed is a newer device. This is a hybrid loop. This has advantage of both fixed and adjustable loop. The calculations are same as the fixed loop. But what happens if you are using supposedly 20 mm button, 39 tunnel. Rest everything is same, you drill 26, 26 you drill and then when you flip it, it will be flipped like that only and now in a fixed loop device, the tunnel fill will be around 20. Here you can, after the flipping of the button, you can still pull the graft more. So the filling of the tunnel will be from 20 to 26, so approximately it will be like 23 or 24. So it will pull the graft more, but then after flipping of the graft, you can pull the graft more into the tunnel, even after flipping the button. So it's a hybrid button, the calculations are similar to fixed loop, but you have an opportunity to shorten the loop later on. So that the advantages of the adjustable loop, complete filling of the tunnel is possible. So that is one drawback of fixed loop, which is taken care by the eco button flex. So you take care of that drawback. So more complete filling of the tunnel is possible. Okay, any questions? Sir, in the eco button flex, mm -hmm. is there any chance of the graph again become lax? So that, that, that's, that uh, theoretically, that problem is with all adjustable loops. For all adjustable loops and for all eco button flex, theoretically, you the the um, the there is a loop lengthening. If the loop lengthening occur, it may get loose. But practically, it does not happen. Uh, and if it happens in eco button flex, it has only two to three millimeters of play, not more. Here, the play is more. The play is more. So, if it is in adjustable loop, the length of the loop initially is ten centimeters, and you shorten it up to. 1.5 or 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters. So you have a big loop. So big, big chance of losing if that is put there. In eco button flex, it is only minimal uh, tensioning. So, so it is like uh, 20 mm loop, which will be reduced to maybe 16 mm or 70 mm loop. So it's three, 2 to 3 millimeters, very small uh, adjustability. Which is there. Okay. Any other questions? Clear about the calculation? Now this retrograde is better than the anti-grade measurement because in retrograde you can measure it in the first step. If you are using an anti-grade then you have to drill with the 4.5 mm reamer and then measure and then if it is less then it is an issue that you have to re-drill or something like that. So here with, with the retro gauge you are at the first step you know the tunnel length and then you can organize all of your surgeries at the first step. Okay, so this is important 7 mm flipping distance you must know. Okay, these calculations you must know, 30 mm you must uh, take as a less, least length possible for the uh, femoral tunnel and rest is easy. So and if you are using a fixed loop, you should have any 15 and 20 mm button in your armamentarium. If you are using an adjustable loop, it, it is only one loop which is there. If you are using eco button flex, I recommend you keep 20 always or 25 minutes. 